right, it's currently 4.21 in the morning and going to work right now, so I'll get off at two o'clock. Then I could rest up a little bit and then just do whatever the day holds beyond that. I really wish I can have like a set schedule at five to two every day, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do to pay the bills. But my shift is all over the place. One day it's five to two, other days it's nine to six, other days it's one to 10, and I'm talking 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's all over the place, but you gotta do what you gotta do to pay the bills. All right, here at work, let's go ahead, get clocked in. Let's get today over with. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. I swear, back then I was talking about how never get furniture from cheap stores, whether it's Walmart and stuff like that. So I thought I'd step it up and go to Target because I heard they had good furniture stuff. Nope, I think freaking broke on me. I went to pull out a record to listen to it. Sure enough, it snapped. I mean, the furniture things, that means nothing to me. The records mean more to me than the freaking furniture does. So I guess I'll just go to Kia and get like kind of a expensive one. Something like that size, but maybe one of those like four square ones. I hear a lot of people getting those. So yeah, that sucked. Man, look how beautiful it looks out here today. And I got to work one to 10 tonight. Oh, well, at least I'm off tomorrow. Like I said before, I'm still thinking about going to Ikea and getting those bookshelves. I'll show you the results in the long run. I'm going to put the records in a different room, but blah, blah, blah. Like I said, I'll show you. But first, I'm going to go grab some lunch before I got to clock into work and get this long shift over with. All right, had to stop in. I felt like getting some Long Johns. Why? Because Chipotle sucks. Yeah, I said it. I don't get why everyone loves that place. I think Hotheads is so much better. If you don't have a Hotheads in your area, imagine it being the same thing as Chipotle, but better meats. It's like less fatty and gristly and oh, it's so much better than them. That's just my opinion. What a day that was. What a crazy, crazy day. But hey, the one fun thing is, it's not this person in front of me that can't go the speed limit. Got my boy, Matt, right here. What's up? Probably can't see him. Hoyo! <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm driving right. So, kind of. what kind of day was that, man? <laughs> Shitty. Yeah, Shitty. but we got through it. We got through it. Okay, got everything cleared out. Ready to go get those shelves. But... That still annoys me, as you can see right there, that little paint stain I accidentally got in the carpet when I painted these walls forever ago. But other than that, I took all that off, cleaned it. Let's go get those shelves and reorganize. Okay, we made it to Ikea. Yes, Ikea. I can't believe how big this place is. Sometimes I forget, but sheesh. Let's go in. Ah, uh, run, man. I love that green tile. Oh no, Tokyo. Okay, I'm still moving a couple things around, but that's the empty space that I have now. Everything's cleaned up, moved. At least I got a clear spot to go for my TV selections. That's where I keep them all, all the way from American Horror Story, Big Bang, Boardwalk, Family Guy, Boy Meets World, so on and so on. Just in case if you're wondering why there's a random drumstick there, this came from Trey from Dying Fetus. He signed it right there. I love Dying Fetus, and Trey is one of my favorite drummers. I had to have this. And for right now, I just put my guitar and amp right there just for right now. But here's what the shelf looks like. I love the little setup. I ended up putting my little lava lamp in here, which I like. Goomba, he had to be the center of attention. I love Goomba. But here's a little look at all the records I got, all in alphabetical order, and I have so much more space down here. I like the way it looks. I think it's pretty cool. I just got more room up here for decorations, which I don't know what I'm gonna do, but we shall see when that comes. All right, off of work. Now I better get some rest. I gotta take my boy Jacob and Morgan to the airport. They're going to Mexico. They're going to Mexico or however you say it. So I'm happy for them. Can't wait to pick them up, talk about it, and can't wait to see them when they get back to hear their story. So let me get some rest and go take them to the airport. All right, it shows I'm only eight minutes away from them. I'm so excited to pick them up and drop them off because I just want to hear about their trip to Mexico. That sounds like a blast, especially right now to where the weather don't know whether to make up its mind, whether it's going to be 
60 degrees one day, then it's 30 degrees the next. Ugh. So I'm happy for them. And also that means in six months, we'll be heading to New York for a day. And then after that, we'll be heading to Vermont. Oh my gosh, can't wait for that too. So seven minutes away now, let's go get them. And then we'll go ahead, probably end up resting. I was about to bring my camera and go downtown to start taking pictures since I'm near it, but it's drizzling a little bit and I don't want to get that on my lenses. So screw it, I'll do it another time. Well, they're all dropped off, ready to go. And I'm happy for them. Can't wait to see those pictures when they come back. By the time this video uploads, they'll already be back. But anyway, Use the left time to, to turn slightly left to stay on International Gateway. Oh my gosh, typical. Anyway, about ready to head home and rest a little bit and then go get my hair cut after. All right, trying to get everything cleared out of here. Now I can take everything apart and start putting together the new shelf. It's gonna look so much better. So here is the before. This is not after just yet. We're about to go somewhere. I'll take you along with us. And here is the after. It looks so much better. I freaking love that stand. And I just gotta look into probably upgrading to like maybe a, a tube photo preamp maybe possibly in the future because I'm gonna change my receiver probably to a Moran since I don't think there's any point in me looking into getting a Macintosh because all I got is the two bookshelf stands. But now I gotta get a vacuum, sweep up all the mess from the box. But speaking of box, I just got those bad boys in the mail. Let me show you what they are. Got these bad boys right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so lucky. They sold out through their website and my size throughout everywhere else. But oh my gosh. Come on. Woo! Oh my gosh, look at those. Oh, I love Timberlands, man. They are my favorite. I love them. Okay. That's not a scuff. It's coming off. It was just like a little smudge or something like that, but not a scuff. But, and these are hard. I love them. Now all I need to do is get like a blue flannel to match those with some nice jet black jeans. And those, man, that's going to be a nice outfit. Those are freaking sharp in person. All right, today's a new day. And now, <clears throat> oh, voice got clogged up there. But today is the day to where I'm going to have to hit my car with a clay bar and then get it ready. I'm going to polish, well, not polish it. I'm going to get compound and get all around it. And I'm going to be getting this stuff on it. The graphene ceramic coat. So it's going to take me a long time, probably not as long because I keep up on my car and it doesn't have as many swirls and all that because I really clean it the right way. So it shouldn't be too hard, but let's start it. It's a new day. It's the morning time. I was up all night doing this and the shine is crazy crazy in person can't wait to get it out in the sun but it's time to go do a senior photo shoot let's go my bad i'm doing so terrible by updating you and taking my camera everywhere because it's a new day we're about to go see the fall guy we're so excited to see this i've been so pumped to see it seeing it in a cool cinema i haven't been to since avengers endgame it was a great cinema but let's go on in get something to eat and enjoy the movie and oh my gosh that movie was so amazing what did you think of uh, the fall guy i really liked it oh my gosh it was amazing but now we're getting some hound dogs i would highly highly suggest seeing that in a the theater especially at most it sounded good but we're hungry hound dogs it is that was some good pizza now I think we should have some fun. Let's go to the arcade and just mess around a little bit. We're on vacation. Let's go enjoy it. Made it. Looks like they changed their signs. That's pretty cool. Let's go have fun. Here we are at the Career Academy, about to go in and start taking the last session of the senior portraits. 
I'm gonna leave my GoPro out in the car because I got a lot of gear on me. I got my 24 to 70, 7200, my big humongous flash, my umbrella, my tripod, so much stuff. And I don't wanna go in there recording or anything like that. So I'm just gonna take the pictures and then I'll pop them up right here after this clip. Right before I end this video, I had to show you this. Check this bad boy out. I had to get it. But I wanted to apologize too that if I had like too many cuts and all that, right now I'm going through a big change in life and there's going to be a lot of changes coming to my YouTube and my photography. I'm going to be able to focus more on that again and get more videos out, get more content out of my photography. So bear with me. I'm going to try to push out as many videos as I can here soon when I get a consistent schedule. Big changes are coming. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll check you later.